Hey guys, welcome to uh, another episode of Star Wars Versus. I haven't done one of these in a while and I figure I owe you guys one. It's been a, about a month or so maybe since my last one. Now, um, for the first time we're going to be looking at a Versus video that doesn't include a Jedi or a Sith. Instead we're talking about bounty hunters. And you guys, I, I believe it or not, you, I got a lot of requests for a Jango Fett versus Boba Fett video. And I have to tell you honestly, I feel that that's kind of a pointless topic of discussion, seeing as how they're so similar, and the similar aspects of each character would make it such a difficult judgment. Um, and it would be very, in, it would be very much in the vein of splitting hairs. And I just don't feel like going down that road. I couldn't possibly come up with a, or conclude a definitive winner in such an engagement as that, unless we're talking about a cross-retrospective of the characters themselves in order to discuss who I prefer overall as a quote-unquote better character. And I suppose I'd be willing to do that sometime in the future, but that's not what a versus video is. This is where I use um, sort of the research I can put into each character and my knowledge about Star Wars in general in order to um, come up with a semi-logical, theoretical winner in this hypothetical battle. So we're not going to do that. I'm going to instead um, just select one of them, and of course most of you asked Boba to be in the video, and I I don't want to do that only because one of my good friends, Light vs. Darkness, has already done Boba in a uh, very cool, actually you should check this out if you haven't already, a Boba Fett vs. General Grievous video. Um, I'll put a link in the annotations right here in the video for you to click on it. Um, and I just don't see the point in using Boba again. I'd like to re I'd like to avoid what redundancy I can, so I'm going to use Django because they're kind of interchangeable. So the other frequent selection you guys made as far as bounty hunters go is the CIS Commander Dirge. So, who's going to win? Will it be the Mandalorian Warrior, or the CIS Commander and Mercenary Dirge? Let's talk about it. Once the child of a small farming family on the world of Concord Dawn, a small world controlled by Mandalorian forces, Jango Fett was subjected to the horror of losing both his parents as they were murdered as he ran to safety. He was then raised by the Mandalore of that time, who treated him as his son and he became not only a fierce and cunning warrior, but also one of the best bounty hunters the galaxy had ever seen. Eventually, his talents would be noticed by the Sith Lord Darth Tyrannus, more commonly referred to as Count Dooku. Dooku tasked Jango with a special mission to test his skills by sending him on a hunt to find and capture one of his former Padawans, a fallen Jedi named Komari Vosa. Fett, of course, passed the test, and so he was chosen to be the template for the clone army, that was masterminded by Palpatine in his convoluted plan to take over the galaxy. And blah 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 blah, we all know the story from there. Eventually, of course, Jango would be unfortunate enough to cross paths with the Jedi Master Mace Windu, who ended his life, effectively leaving nothing but his many clone warriors, as well as his clone son, Boba, as a final legacy of the once proud Mandalorian people. Let's size up the competition by talking about Dirge. Dirge is from a race of people called the Jendai, a very long-lived species which have been known to live for thousands of years. They are apparently nearly impervious to harm as they are able to regenerate from virtually any injury, no matter how severe, including those inflicted by a blaster or a lightsaber. They also have a highly advanced nervous system which grants them intense speed and amazing reflexes, so sensitive in fact that Dirge once claimed to be able to feel Obi-Wan's heartbeat from up to 200 meters away as the latter attempted to sneak up on him for a surprise attack. Dirge functioned as a commander in the droid army during the Clone War, and he was only answering to Dooku himself at that time. He was often paired with Asajj Ventress on missions back and forth. He was a very high-ranking um, commander. During this time, Dirge killed many Jedi and was only challenged by the more je um, skilled Jedi of the time. Even the combined talents of Obi-Wan and Anakin were seldom enough to overpower Dirge. Their final confrontation ended in the infamous creature's demise when Anakin used the Force to guide the escape pod carrying Dirge into his son, finally obliterating the last remnants of his cellular structure, thus defeating his ability to regenerate from harm, and the creature was finally dead. 
Now that the biographical information has been displayed, let's talk about their skills. I've chosen to do this now because both of them have very similar equipment and abilities available to them, so I just thought it would be more appropriate to speak about that um, at the same time rather than separately. Both are proficient in the usage of blasters as well as in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Jango Fett proved this in his duel with Obi-Wan during Episode 2. Although it was raining and Obi-Wan did not have access to his lightsaber for much of the battle, Jango proved capable of handling himself against the seasoned Jedi Knight, equipped with the Force. And as a result of Dirge's regenerative capabilities, he's able to fight in close quarters with Jedi with a wild abandon, not having to worry about any injuries he will sustain, and he can therefore focus on doing as much damage as possible without ever having to go on the defensive, making him a very, very challenging opponent. Both Django and Dirge have access to armor and jetpacks, and both have also been known to use explosives as well. There's a lot of canceling out that has to go on here. They both use heavy ammunition, they both use pistols, they both use jetpacks, they both use explosives, and so the advantage as far as skills and access to technology really can't go to anybody. They have skill for skill, you know, power for power, blow for blow. They have the same technology. They have the same training. What it's going to come down to is endurance, stamina, speed, strength, longevity, toughness. All of these advantages, I feel, have to go to Dirge. They clearly go in his favor. Django would no doubt put up a good fight, but once his bullets are gone, once his ammunition is gone, once his blasters are useless, he would certainly not be capable of dealing a death blow to Dirge. After all, it took Anakin pushing the creature into a star to finally kill him. What chance would Jango have of annihilating the creature at all? So, Jango would either be forced to flee the battle because he could no doubt incapacitate Dirge long enough to get his ass out of there. Um, he would definitely be able to do that. All he would need is some sort of explosive to, you know, blow Dirge up a long enough to get away while he's regenerating, or perhaps he could shoot, even shoot him enough times with a heavy blaster or something. The, Django could definitely escape the creature, there's no doubt about that. What he could not do is he would definitely not be able to kill him. In the sense that that's the purpose of most of these versus videos, is who would win it in a battle to the death, I have to say that Dirge is the guy who's going to be able to if come out on top once all said and done. He doesn't need weapons to kill Django. He would rip him limb for limb. I remember in a comic book, Dirge once used his, you know, regenerative capabilities to grab hold of a Jedi and submerge him into a pool of lava, going so far as to burn his own hands off, knowing they would come back, just to make sure the Jedi wouldn't be able to escape him. I mean, he's that committed and he's that aware of his invulnerability. There's just no way Jango would be able to escape this creature. So, once all is said and done and the blaster ammunition is exhausted, Jango would either be forced to flee the engagement or he would most certainly die. Dirge wins this battle. Keep your eye out for the next video, guys, and remember it's only for fun. If you disagree with me, go ahead and talk about it with me in the comments, okay? But let's not get all fired up about this. Let's not lose our heads. Thanks for watching, everybody. It's always fun. Have a great day. Take care. See you next time. Bye.